Robert. Hey, what's up? Robert here from Robert's Productions, and today I'm going to show you how to create snow in Photoshop. So, this is the after effect. We have snow in the photo. Ooh! Look at our, our before image, okay? No snow, nothing. And then after, oh! Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in Photoshop today, just so, you know, you don't keep wondering how I did that. And uh, before we get started, I just real real quick want to show you the, the daily picture, the picture of the day. Here you go, you got a, a lady with a uh, baby's face. <laughs> He's got some comfort there. He has some, he has some comfort. He's very, he's, he's even happy, look at him. Continue on with the tutorial. Oh no! <laughs> oh! Okay, okay. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is add a new layer. I can come down here by clicking uh, the new layer icon and that's gonna create my new layer. Now Photoshop's default colors are black for the foreground, white for the background, and so that should stay the same. Make sure the foreground is set to black. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at our keyboard and, oh man, there's so many keys on here. Um, I'm gonna hold down Alt and Delete. Oh, it did it! And that should be Option Delete. If you're on the Mac, <sighs> Mac. Okay, so now what would, what, what, what How's, how are we going to get snow out of this black screen? Well, I'm going to show you. We're going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise, and now it looks like um, you just turned on the TV and looks like the cable's out. Yeah. And so I'm going to set the amount at around 100%. Make sure the distribution is at Gaussian. And Monochromatic is checked because we don't want it colorful. We want it to look like the TV when the cable's out. Click OK. And I'm going, I'm going to add a little bit of a blur to it by going to Filter, Blur, blur more. Sorry if you can't understand me. Okay, and now what I'm gonna do is try to decrease the way it looks to make these look more like snow. So we're gonna change levels by going to image, adjustments, levels. And we're going to bring these levels down, you know, good enough to where we can get some good snow going in there. Bring these up, you know, do what you have to do to get yourself some snowflakes. So that looks pretty good. It kind of looks like that Starfield screen saver that you could uh, put on your PC. Click OK. And there we have some snow. Now we have this black background. What are we going to do with this black background? We're going to change the blending mode over here from normal to <coughs> screen. And you can see the little snow particles. Some people just add that and they're like, okay, that looks like snow, we're done. No, 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 no. We have to make that look a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is actually add a little bit of motion blur to that. So I'm gonna to go to filter, blur, motion blur. And look at that. You see how the snow goes like that? I'm gonna change the angle to, you know, what, 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 which way, how do you want the snow to be blowing? You want it to be blowing sideways, it's, you know, it could be a blizzard. So we're gonna, we're just gonna go ahead and keep it at negative 60, the distance at around 10 pixels. Sounds good, sounds good to me. I'm hungry, that sounds good. Mmm, oh, back on track, click OK. And now you can hardly see the snow, it's like, where did it go? What we can do is just duplicate that layer. To increase the effect of the snow, we can even duplicate that layer again by, you know, I'm clicking and dragging it down to the new layer icon. And we even increase that snow even more! You can do this as many times. How much snow do you want? And, um, and actually with this layer right here, I'm going to add some, some snow that's a little bit closer to the camera because remember this picture was taken by a camera. And what I want to do is zoom in this picture here so what I'm gonna do here let me show you go to edit free transform and up here click this little chain link fence no just the chain which maintains the aspect ratio click that and then change the width to 200% because you want it like that okay and once you're done doing that you can click this little checkbox right here or hit enter on your keyboard and then it, it thinks about it thinks if uh, it wants to do it and now that it's like that, we're going to go to Filter and add this little cool effect. Pixelate Crystallize. And we want it to crystallize cell size at around 10. Click OK. Takes a little bit. It even loads. 
But you know, if you're running a slow computer, you might have to walk away, maybe take a trip to the Bahamas, and come back, and uh, hopefully it'll be done. And now, you can't tell as much. You can also duplicate that layer to, you know, try to increase the intensity just a little bit more. And you know, I'm gonna in uh, duplicate this down layer here too. You know, I really want it to look like it's snowing. And one final effect is to make it look cold. It looks cold here, but it doesn't look so cold that you're turning blue. So what we want to do is add a little bit of a layer adjustment, or a new adjustment layer. And uh, we can do that by clicking this little button right here, the circle with the half black and white thing. And then go to photo filter. Now I want to change the filter to cooling filter and where it says 82 in parentheses. Click that. And it's a little bit too blue for me. So what I like to do is bring the density down to around 10. And um, yeah, I like it up there. Let's see about this one. Yeah, well, this, this, that, you can add it down there. Put all your snow layers on top of it. Whatever you want to do. But you can see it's snowing and there's a pretty bad blizzard and it looks more like snow because, you know, we have snow close to the lens. We have snow far away. We have uh, snow going in all different kinds of directions. I mean, you can even pick a layer here that you duplicated. And go to Edit, Transform, uh, Rotate 180 degrees. And that's just going to, you know, rotate the snow. Make it look like it's coming from a different direction. You know, just going to flip it. It's gonna rotate at 180 degrees there you go and so that's how you add snow to a photo a wintry effect some snow I mean you could even take a picture of yourself inside the house and add some snow that's gonna be a mess to clean up if it was real snow but now you don't have to have real snow because you can just do it in Photoshop okay there you have it snow in Photoshop snow in in Photoshop I didn't show you how to do the snow part that was already in the photo. That's mother nature right there. I'm just showing you how to make it snow. Now if the photo, if it's already snowing, then you don't have to do this. But uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know anything. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Um, and until next time, like I always say, take care and have a happy holidays. Oh, and uh, happy new year. Is that all you have to say?